Now, it has been two weeks since Hamas first launched its attack on Israel. It saw 1,400 people killed. Since then, Palestinian officials say that more than 4,000 people have died in Gaza. Reporting on the war has been personal for Palestinian journalist and human rights advocate Yara, I Yara Eid, who joins me now. Uh, Yara, thank you for joining us here on Sky News. I understand that recent events have caused you uh, personally a great deal of grief and pain. Well, I lost more than 30 members of my immediate family, and they were civilians. They were not part of any militant group. They, most of them were children. 17 of them are children. Um, not only that, but my best friend is a journalist, was a journalist, and Israel killed him in cold blood on the 7th of October um, while he was covering um, the Aries border. Um, and he was wearing a press vest. He was wearing his um, helmet. And I, I just want to say before... I continue talking about what's happening. When you first introduced what's happening, you said more than 1,400 people have been killed in Israel and more than 4,000 in Palestine have died. I think language is really important to use because language, as a journalist, you have the moral responsibility to report on what's happening. Palestinians don't just die. They get killed. They are actually being um, subjected to ethnic cleansing, to genocide for the last 75 years. And you also mentioned that this is a Hamas-Israel war. This is not it. And framing it as such is very misleading because it uh, poses the thing that uh, Israel is an equal power, but it's an occupying power. And it actually has the responsibility of protecting all civilian lives and children in Gaza. But what we've been seeing is more than 1,700 of those who are killed are children. So this is not really a, a war against Hamas. This is a, clearly so many Israeli spokesperson went on TV and said this is a war against Palestinian civilians in Gaza. And even if we imagine a world without Hamas, if we think about the West Bank, Palestinians have been being killed and, you know, there has been land theft, there has been ethnic cleansing, there has been, um, you know, imprisonment. More than 5,200 Palestinians are in, Isra in Israeli prisons right now. And 170 of them are children, children. So this is not just to water down what's happening to the 7th of October. This is a 75-year-old occupation, ethnic cleansing and genocide of Palestinians. And you need, as a journalist, to report on what's happening and say it as it is. Um, when Hamas launched the attack on Israel, um, as a Palestinian, what, what did you ex expect would happen next? Well, I, I think, again, I'm sorry, but I think this is <laughs> misleading because this is, you can't water down what's been happening about the attack on the 7th of October. Let's talk about 2014. Let's talk about 2021. Let's talk about all the aggressions, you know, Palestinians in Gaza. Me personally, let's not talk about Palestinians in Gaza. I've lived through um, four horrible aggressions. I've lived... That's actually why I left Gaza in the first place. I saw people got, getting cut into pieces in front of my eyes when I was 14 years old. I spent the last seven years trying to get um, therapy to get over my PTSD, my traumatic um, experience of just living there. So this is, again, you're misleading by saying it's a Hamas attack. You need to say what's been happening. We can't look at it just by looking at what's happened on the 7th of October. Why are you not talking about all of the other attacks on worshippers in Al-Aqsa Mosque, on, you know, kidnapping women and raping them in Israeli jails? You know, all these um, uh, uh, Palestinians who are being killed in the West Bank. Why are you not asking me about them? Hamas does not operate there. Uh, Yara Eid, uh, good to get your perspective on Sky News. Thank you very much for joining us.